Hi everyone! An update on the Wallapini, which is an underground greenhouse. Mine is just partial underground. We dug it up. It's about <clears throat> 10 feet into the ground. So it seems to be doing pretty well. We've had about two weeks of below freezing temperature. I don't have any heat in here. And things are looking well for the most part, except for you can see the jackfruit. But I contribute that to digging it up into the ground and putting it in the pot. The jackfruit and the banana tree, you see it's really stressing yellow and brown. Um, but I contribute that more to me digging them up and repotting them too late in the season as opposed to actually being in the greenhouse and suffering from the cold weather. You can see everything else that's been in pots that we moved in here are doing great. This is a Glen Mango, I believe. Oh, Valencia Pride Mango. The Glen Mango is on the other side right over there. It seems to be doing well and pushing out new growth. The lychee, this one is the Sweetheart lychee, sitting out new growth here. You can see, I've got to come in and prune this. This branch looks like it's dead, but I think it's been dead for a while. But sometimes it's tricky to know until you actually see new growth because over here, I thought this branch was dead too, and you could see new growth, and this one actually Looks like it's bearing fruit on the stem, so I'm going to leave this branch until later. Or I can just scratch it and see if there's green underneath it. It means it's still alive, it's just trying to push out. Look, even right here, it looks like there was something that was trying to push out from right there. Just like over here, you can see these new growth from the nodes that are pushing out. So I'm going to just leave that one alone. This is an avocado. I don't know why it has these black stems. It doesn't look healthy because I don't think it should have this black spot on the stem. But it is pushing out flower, so I'm going to just leave it alone, not stress it anymore. This is another avocado, Mexicola avocado. You can see new growth is pushing out flowers here. And this one is... Fantastic avocado. <laughs> so I bought this one, I think, at a Home Depot. See here, it's pushing. So it seems to be liking it in here. It does get extremely hot and humid in here during the daytime when the sun is out. So yesterday, I, I installed a solar fan. It's over here just pushing enough wind just to keep things um, a little bit more on the air movement side instead of it being so stale, but I think because how big this greenhouse is, we might need another one on the opposite wall, pushing just to get some air movement through here. It is really humid in here. Like I said, we did have a thermostat, but that was from last year, and it's not uh, it's not working, so I'll need to get a new battery installed in it. But this fan here I bought on Amazon, It it's a little bit pricey, but for the size of the fan, it seems to work great the solar panel is on the outside you can see this little square uh, solar panel and then we just puncture a hole through push the wire through and the wire is running to the fan couple things all of the uh, Myers 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 lemon is pushing new growth so they're doing well I was in here trimming a little bit on the uh, new growth Got some little fruits. The Ruby Supreme Guava is still pushing out growth and flower and fruit, so I'm hoping that it'll set. The new flowers coming in, I don't think they will be set because there's no pollinate, pollinators in here to help with the pollination. These are the ones that have already been pollinated, so they're growing. But any new flower we may have, it won't get pollinated so I'll come in again and then I'll prune it back to get some new growth they do set only on new growth so if I come back and prune it it may get more flower during the springtime and then we'll get some more fruit in the summertime this is the lychee can't remember which lychee tree this one is I had the tag somewhere but this is the one that is really doing well with all of its fruit, its um, fruit setting or flower setting. It's 
got a whole bunch of nodes over here. It has a whole bunch over here as well. And the new growth since moving it in here has been quite a bit, so I'm really surprised at how well it's doing. So hopefully it'll keep on growing. A couple months in here is all we need before spring hits. So before we know it, spring will be just right around the corner. This is the Thai guava. I pruned it back pretty hard just to bring it in here, downsizing it. The June plum is stressing out quite a bit, losing its leaves. They are yellowing. Not sure what's going on, other than maybe it is too cold for the June plum in here still. We're not sure what the temperature reach in here, but it's not less than probably 40 degrees in here. So that still might be too much for it. This is the Meyer lemon. Doing great. You can see all of the fresh buds, fresh flowers, but no pollinator again. So it is going to just drop. There are some that have already set like this one here. So as long as they keep on producing, I'll get some good harvest. See new growth coming in. Who I prune back and then look at all these. These are all little flower buds that it's setting. It's so crazy the amount of flower that is on this Meyer lemon. I must have given it enough fertilizer to think that it can set all of these flowers to produce this year. Look on this side. Look at this cluster. Isn't that beautiful? And it is so fragrant and so smelly. And then the coconut palm is doing great in here. This is a coleus doing great. Just want to overwinterize that so I'll have that in the springtime to produce some more. Just a couple things in pots. The papaya seems to be doing great over here. That's a new flower coming out and then a brand new one right here that just opened up. That fruit is still hanging on, which is a good thing. It hasn't dropped due to any stress. So it seems to be doing good in here. We're going to test it out for a couple more months, at least through end of February. And then we might get a couple more nights in March, and then it'll be springtime. So just got to keep these guys in here for a couple more months, and we'll be good to go to start spring again. I hope you guys are having great success with your garden. Your tropical plants. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone.